Broadcast live at E3. I'm Ed here with Smitty and Brian from Image Inform. Special guest, he's going to um, walk us through the hit sequel, the uh, soon to be hit sequel, I'm sure, <laughs> to uh, SteamWorld Dig, SteamWorld Heist. We're going to take a look at it. Re yep. Really excited about this. Thank you. It's likewise, we're obviously very excited about SteamWorld Heist. It's, um, it's been a long way coming. We mm -hmm. started making it in January 2014. And we've just decided to polish this game to a perfect shine. So, <laughs> so that's what it's going to be. So uh, Image and Form is based in Gothenburg, Sweden. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's 16 very childish people working together <laughs> with me. <laughs> nice. That's kind of good. So SteamWorld Heist. I don't know if you guys remember a game called SteamWorld Dig. But that of came course. To the, uh, to the 3DS in uh, 2013. Uh, Nintendo made that game and it just a super hit for us. Mm -hmm. So we decided to uh, expand on the universe and uh, do something completely different. Right, right. <laughs> so instead of making um, a digging game again, we decided to make a turn based combat game. Mm -hmm. Uh, Which, when I first heard about that change, I was like, what? Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, I love turn-based combat, but I've never seen this brand of it before. It's, it it's kind of different. turn-based combat. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, so it's 2D turn-based combat featuring steam-driven robots in space. It's just like every other game. We so don't need to look at this. Exactly. I think it ticks <laughs> quite a few boxes. Right. So should we get cool. going? Yeah, let's take a look. Let's do it. Excellent. So... Here in the middle of the screen right now, we have the main protagonist, um, Piper, who is, she is the captain of a space pirate crew comprised of um, a lar rather large number of uh, steam-driven robots. Okay. And they're all unique with their own uh, upgrade abilities, etc. So what you do in the game is, since Steam will dig, some really bad stuff has happened. And uh, the steam driven robots, our cowbots, they were forced to take to space. Okay. So now they're roaming space in their sort of patched up uh, pirate ship, and they're heisting really, really terrible other steam driven robots. <laughs> so we're actually doing the world a favor here in this game. And that's a good way to look at it. I right. Like. And with her is Seabrass, one of our accomplices. And uh, let's just get started. Yeah, yeah. So this here, they're just <coughs> going through quickly what they're supposed to do in this demo. And they're going to heist a medium-sized uh, ship of scrappers, which is a terrible, terrible species. <laughs> so. This is how you go about it. It's 2D turn-based combat, and it goes like this. Um, you sort of you move around like this with the D-pad, right. and whenever you see a cog like that, you can interact with an object. So I'm just going to open that door, and hopefully there are no bad guys on the other side. Uh-oh. OK. You saw I was sort of walking in a yellow range like uh, up until now, and mm. if you stay within the yellow range, you can finish your turn with a shot. Or you can sort of decide to keep running uh, as far as possible in, into the blue range. And uh, since there's a bad guy down here, I'm probably going to take the shot. Do it. And you can see she has um, a sight on her gun, yes. sort of like a laser sight. And there's a slight wobble. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. And uh, that is that's sort of uh, central to this game, that SteamWorld the Heist is 100% skill-based. Mm -hmm. means that we sort of have to time our shots and sort of hit that perfect pixel to make maximum right. damage. Nice. So let's see if I'm too nervous or if I can do something <laughs> good out of this. Oh, oh right. that wasn't a critical because it wasn't a headshot. Wow, right. It's a classical shot to the back of the head. Right. <laughs> and so we're moving in Seabrass here. He's got a, a more of a serious hand cannon. And mm. It's actually no quite sight. powerful. So Seabrass doesn't have the laser sight. Right. So oh, you're right. Yeah. You kind of have to judge the angle. It's kind of like playing a game of billiards or something where That's right. you're kind of like aiming right. And shots actually ricochet and whatnot, or some shots. I think uh, that's an ability. Yeah, exactly. 
So this is the only game you need to play with a protractor when you, when you play it. <laughs> nice. Is it so. shipped with a protractor? <laughs> is that included in the package? <laughs> yeah, it's a pack-in. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh. And he misses. Oh, this is oh, he missed too. It's kind of serious. Right. So we're going to move Piper up a little bit here. So you went to the edge of your yellow movement, That's and now that allows you to be able to do another action and fire exactly. your Exactly. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just see if I can hit this guy. I uh, probably should be that. able to do that. The sway oh, of the nice. robot breath. Right. <laughs> and so when, when you uh, take one of the enemies out of service, decommission them, if you like, um, what we do is we sort of drag the skeleton out of the out of the rig, and all the parts fly off with perfect physics. Mm. And it's just delightful to do that <laughs> nice. together with the sound effects. So now we're in a new area here with oh with two baddies, and I'm gonna go ne get next to a barrel here because it's sort of good protection. Take some cover. Right, so you're ducking behind the barrel, and that just makes it harder for them to actually hit you. It's not like, if you do get hit, you, it's not like you take half damage or anything, because there is no, like... There's uh, an automatic. Yeah, there is yeah. no kind of chance to hit, or like, a, you know, oh, this is going to do more damage because of a random chance. It, as you said, is all skill-based. Yeah, so. it's 100% skill-based. Yeah. So that means that there is very little chance. And that's the thing I like about games that are fair in that sense. I'm, right. I'm a huge chess fan myself, so chess is really fair. It's the best mind wins, and I right. win sometimes. <laughs> so we're going to get into action oh, nice. here and see. Yeah. All right. So see some press. nice hats, too, on these guys. Right. So see, you see those hats? I can. If I'm really good, I can actually shoot that hat off that robot. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, oh I did! Double hat Two shot. hats! <laughs> <laughs> I've never that's, done that. That's, that's amazing. Incredible. So let me tell you about Very hats. Nice. Oh, the, they shot our hat off. Oh, that's geez. terrible. A well, lot of hats going on. Well, the hats, they're really s serious business because, as you know, steam-driven robots are crazy about hats. Right. Of course. And, like, uh, we all know so this. we're going to actually go and pick up one of the enemy hats here, and then Seabras gets even more badass. So you got the bandit hat. Right. So now he's wearing a bandit hat. He's about to do a leg shot here on this guy upstairs. Okay, he's pretty angry. And oh. ouch. So let's get back at him. Is that so, new Piper? Yeah, and like you see, I can sort of ricochet shots awesome. any sort of way that I'm that I can. Nice. nice shot. And um, we're gonna go into that next area. Let's see. I hope there's nobody behind that door. Oh, okay. There's a bad guy. Luckily, it's Seabrass in his new hat, and it's a bit of slow motion action there. So, about the hats, you want to collect hats because. A steam-driven robot with a huge hat collection is one fearsome robot. <laughs> sure. Makes all the, all the sense in the world, I think. <laughs> Let's see if we can take this shot. I don't want to miss because he's got a really powerful rifle right, right. there. Let's do it. Oh, oh nice. Oh, wow. Nice shot. Excellent. Well done. So we're going to send Piper up here, and foolishly, she opens the door. All right. There is a character there. I sort of got your buddy here. It's a fish robot with an Uzi called <laughs> Billy Gill. And he's a man of few words. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. blah. <laughs> and we got to help him out. He's sort of trapped in this room with uh, some serious nasties. See if I can interact with the environment here somehow. So all of these barrels you can hit, but this barrel up here has a little flame on it, which everyone knows what that means. Yep, we kind of guess what that is. So that explodes and sort of, yeah, gets, taints everyone around it. Nice. So Billy is actually on our team. We sort of rescued him here. Oh, we got to get Billy a little bit closer to his enemies. So this Uzi gun that he's carrying has quite a kick. So we want to sort of aim a little bit lowish. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Nice. 
Oh, that is so gratifying. And that kick and that spray is like dictates how you're aim, where you're going to aim in the, uh, to start. Exactly. So I'm going to see if I can use Piper to sort of do a ricochet trick shot. shot. Nice. A trick shot. All right. The, shot. the famous elbow shot there. And we bring Seabrass along. See, that guy is kind of hard oh, to hit. hit that barrel. Right. Ah, Ooh. yeah. That's a tough shot. And those barrels have hit points, so you can't destroy that if you hit it enough times. Exactly. It's actually going to work as protection for a while. Right. So now we've sort of cleared out this room, and I'm going to move into the next area here. And I can sort of switch characters to move them simultaneously if, I've, if I'm uh, the impatient mm. kind. Mm. And you guys must have had so much fun oh. designing <laughs> these characters. It is, it is wonderful. The thing is that when we made SteamWorld Dig, we, at the end of the development, we brought our units home to test every night, every weekend. Mm -hmm. And it almost became a chore at the end to sort of dig and dig and dig it. Yeah. This, is, this is really different. I'm, I'm losing a lot of sleep and uh, <laughs> uh, getting a lot of um, comments from my wife oh, because man. I'm <laughs> sort of staying up very late <laughs> <laughs> playing my 3DS. Right. Oh. Come on, we gotta shape this up. It's up to Billy. Come on, Billy. Oh, you Billy. can do it. Up close. Oh. Oh, we got the hat, but. Oh, oh. there's a turret up there, though. Oh, oh no, oh, Billy. Billy. Come on, Billy. Don't die, Billy. So there's a lot of strategy. You, you can either take this guy out first, you take the, the turret, turret out. You have to kind of choose your targets. Exactly. Carefully. And you, you can also sort of choose who goes first, right. depending on what kind of weapon they have. Because every character will have their own sort of upgrade abilities um, in the game. So some of them will really benefit from doing the kill shot, and some will benefit from going first and so ah, on. All right, cool. So we're just going to line the crew up here so we don't get unpleasantly surprised when we enter the boss room here at the end. I'm just going to crouch these people here for a while. So we're sort of ready to go. So I'm going to let Seabrass go first. Oh, wow. Yeah. OK, so there is a big boss in this room. Let's, let's see. Yeah, Maybe can you see her. that? That is so rude, right? <laughs> they have no manners. It's like, let's rip them apart. And Piper tries to be polite. It's like, we'll just help ourselves to some of that water, if you don't mind. Wow. You should and he laugh all the time. He laughs impressive. in her face, right? It's Dude, just you terrible. Gotta, you got to teach this guy a lesson. I think we should. So there's like a turret here, turret there, this evil right. boss, and this guy in that, yeah, they sort of need to be taken out of service, okay. I think. A lot of action. So we'll go for that turret first. Oh, that was kind of lame. <laughs> I'm sort of betting the farm on that shot. <laughs> And Billy courageously enters Charges the fray. Forward. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that is good, but we're not really taking out anything here. Let's see if Piper can hit that thing. Take yeah, that if, out. If you oh, can take nice. them out, then they don't get a turn when it's their turn. So oh. instead of kind of like spreading the damage out, you might want to focus on one sort of. You're perfectly enemy. right. And now they shot Billy's hat off. But oh. I think actually we got the boss hat there. So I'm going to let Billy, he's going to have that as a prize. You can go for it. At the end of it. <clears throat> so we're going to move down here. Nice. Oh, nice. Right. And come on, Seabrass. Seabrass, take that oh. out. Now, Billy gets kind of overly confident here. He's like. Ooh, Billy has one hit point left. Yeah, Billy, that's not good. Man. Oh, Think nice. about that captain hat. Oh. oh, no. Please don't do this. Oh, no. Oh, oh you got wow. really right. lucky. <laughs> Three on Ooh. the barrel. OK, we're going to take that shot there. It's captain to captain time. And Seabrass is like, Arr, I'm going to get you. Arr, arr. Or is he? He's, <laughs> he's probably not going to be able to, to do that. Mm. All he right, can... so we sort of 
take our gun back and sort of sneak up behind this okay, evil captain. It's probably a useless move. And Billy, he's all afraid, so he runs back. He'll live to fight another day. Hopefully. Come on. All right, so he's close to that barrel. Let's take it out. Ha-ha, so you have no cover. So if Billy were to get scrapped, would he uh, he'd be out for the rest of the fight, obviously? Yeah, he would. Actually, what Billy wants to do is to get into fist fight now with this. Why, uh, why would with Billy this do that? Oh, oh. That would, Billy, that wasn't clever. Billy. So, yeah, what happens when Billy gets... Um, that uh, was decommissioned. Uh, yeah, decommissioned. <laughs> is they have to, they carry him home to the ship in a crate, and uh, it'll cost quite a, quite a few resources to sort of uh, get him reassembled. Uh, sure. So, but now it's like mano a mano here. It's uh, Captain Piper versus this evil scrapper boss. Good night. Hey, oh, well nice. done. Excellent, the door opens. Oh, there's something that we really want. Let's go get, Blue. go, go. Oh, you're running in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> Got overly excited. Right, he's so excited. There's got to be, like, some new robot stuff in that box for him, I think. So get up there. Do your thing. It's cool how they can jump off platforms and stuff like that as yeah, well. Yeah, and, and you also, like I said before, you get all kinds of abilities. So you can upgrade, like, even get up jumps and, uh, oh, wow. right, and... Uh, different shots and everything. So, Seabrass, do the honors. Yay. <laughs> A winner is you. That's awesome. Very nice. Excellent. So. That's awesome. Yeah, so what, what's been really fun about developing SteamWorld Heist as compared to SteamWorld Dig is that we're not really rookies anymore. We, we've We've got quite a bit of a following now, and mm. it's, we've been able to sort of um, include the community in developing the game. So every other week, we have a, uh, what we call a SteamWorld Ambassador contest on our website, uh, imageform.se, where people just, we come up with some theme, and we have the, the most adorable uh, uh, entries to these contests. <laughs> nice. We really want want them to interact. This, I think today we we have a fan art contest on the website. So I really want people cool. to be able to go over there. So what you get as a SteamWorld ambassador is you get lifetime SteamWorld games. As soon what? as there's a new, you should go in, yeah. you should enter, Smitty. <laughs> That's That's like, Your eyes got real big just <laughs> then. <laughs> Every new SteamWorld game that comes out, you will get awesome. that for free. Awesome. And you'll also get codes for your friends. Wow. And That's you'll get cool. sort of uh, advance notice about all the stuff that we're doing. Very cool. So we're really, we really want to include people in this. And they're, awesome. they're fantastic. That's awesome. Have that level of communication with your community, your fans, everything. That's great. Right. That's awesome. So I have a key reveal here uh, oh. at E3 is... I want to hear Are this. You, what Are you, you ready? Got? We're ready. So, uh, is that the camera there? That's the one, the smiley face. All right. Hi there, smiley face. <laughs> Hi there, community. We're very proud, proud to announce that SteamWorld Heist will debut on the Nintendo 3DS, and it's coming to you this fall. Just Woo. look out for it. This is the first time we've nice. actually said. <laughs> Officially. We've come there out. And now we've said it. That's it's awesome. the 3DS first. Congrats. Cool. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for giving us that moment here. That's awesome. Brian, thanks for uh, dropping by this game. I'm, I'm super excited about it. This is one of the most unique games that I've seen in a while, so I, I'm really excited to play it. Uh, Smitty, thanks a lot, of course. Always, always. a pleasure. And uh, don't go anywhere. We're coming right back with more gameplay. Nintendo Treehouse, live at E3.